before you begin to type your letter, you need to set it up to be single spaced with no spacing before and after. So to do that, we're going to click our paragraph dialog box here. Um, and we can go to our paragraph settings. Okay, so we're going to go in our spacing section and we're going to do two things. Number one, we're going to change it to zero and zero before and after. And we're going to change it to single space. So single, zero and zero. Okay. If you are using Word for the first time up here on the top left, you may want to go ahead and click File, Open, Save, Read Aloud, Spelling and Grammar. Um, so you can have these in the Quick Access Toolbar. At the beginning, you're going to be typing your inside address. Um, also, when we type this, um, we're going to make the font size either 12 or 14 with Calibri. That's fine. Okay, and I'm going to do a double space. And then I'm going to need a quadruple space here. And I'm going to do my example for Ms. Molly Poston. Um, so to look at your spacing, this is in the home ribbon and the paragraph group. Um, this little backwards P thing is the show hide code. So that's going to let me see everywhere I hit enter to make sure I have the right number of spaces. So for example, I need three blank lines in between the date line and who the letter is going to. Okay, so that is the show hide code and you can use that to help you as well. Um, don't forget to also look on your notes uh, for how to do the salutation and complimentary close. So here's a finished example. So again, we've got three blank lines. Um, I made sure that we have a colon here after the salutation, and we have a comma after the complimentary close. We also have three blank lines here to give you space to sign your name in ink. Um, enclosure is optional. That's only if something is enclosed. And to do the spell check, grammar check, you can go over to the review ribbon and check spelling and grammar. Or you, you edit it in your quick access toolbar, you can do that. Finally, you need to make sure you save this at the beginning and the end. So we can do file, save as. Um, for you, maybe you want to save this in your documents folder. Okay, as you can see, I've got a lot. Um, so this might be in my career management um, section 1.02. And this would be Sarah Saber letter to J. Cole. All right, and click save. So again, you'll make sure you save it one more time after you finish.